Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't done an impostor piece in a while, so I thought it would be a good refresher to bring out the Palais Nice today. It's been raining quite a fair bit recently, so this piece is semi-inspired by the heavy downpour. Well, that was the effect that I wanted to achieve anyway, and I'm hoping it translates through the painting. I'm also getting a little bored of landscapes, so I thought I'll add an abstract touch to this painting, with more loose strokes and ambiguous shapes. I love the peony flower, but it's so hard to paint because of the complexity of its petals, especially in the middle. So the vagueness of this piece comes in handy. They are peony flowers and it is final. Here's a little black story to these grand flowers. More than 15 dynasties have made Luoyang their capital city over the past 5,000 years. If you want to relieve the glory of those ancient dynasties, you can go to Luoyang during the month of April and observe the blossoming peonies. The peony has been known as the king of flowers ever since the Tang dynasty. The Tang dynasty's aesthetics was one of abundance and lush beauty. The broad, glamorous petals and the pungent fragrance of the peony made it a natural choice as the king of flowers. Emperor Xuanzong of the Tang dynasty was a great fan of the peony. His concubine Yang Kuifei would wear in her hair to get his attention. These caused bees to buzz all around her and Emperor Xuanzong was very enamored by that. So much so that he sent his people to bring the poet Li Bai, who was drunk in the tavern at the time, to the palace and immediately composed a poem about her. Levi lifted his pen and wrote three poetries about flowers and beautiful women. The peony was a symbol of wealth and prosperity for the Tang dynasty. It also represented power and desire. As another story goes, during the Tang dynasty, Empress Wu Zetian ordered a hundred flowers to be forged open during winter, but the peony was the only flower that would not bloom. The Empress was enraged and banished the peony from the capital city of Chang'an to the city of Luoyang. Once the peonies reached Luoyang, they bloomed beautifully. The Empress then ordered all the peonies to be burned. But even though they were all burned, they grew right back the next year. The peony has an even more symbolic meaning in folk legend. It is the flower of love, and it has also inspired countless of poems and paintings. On the western side of things, there are many tales as to how the peony got its name. According to one tale, the name originates from the Greek word peon. In Greek mythology, peon was the physician to the gods who angered his teacher, Asclepius, I hope I pronounced that name properly. Anyway, after he extracted a milky liquid from the root of a peony that cured Pluto, Asclepius was the god of medicine and healing. He threatened to kill Peon out of jealousy because he was outsmarting his teacher. Zeus saved him by turning him into a beautiful flower, the peony. Another myth links the name peony back to a nymph called Peonia, whose beauty attracted the attention of Apollo. Out of spite, Aphrodite turned her into a peony. This legend is likely what led to the flower's meaning of poor luck in the Victorian age. So that's the little fun facts for the day. I love, love, love how this painting turned out. I like to think it looks expensive and easy to match interiors. Hints for sales pitch. I've got a bokeh piece coming up next, and I'll probably do another one of the soft floral abstracts after that. I hope you like this painting. Fans, without further ado, let's begin.